man joins a boy band. Let the story commence. Craig looked in his local newspaper and there was a wee thing there that says, looking for um, uh, young men between uh, 18 and 25 to join a boy band. Think. Take that. Backstreet Boys. And uh, One True Voice, in brackets, only kidding. One True Voice were a flop. Um, phoned this number. And he phoned up and he went, I'm looking to join this uh, audition for this boy band. And he went, okay, just take your details, right? Uh, what's your name, Craig? Um, what age are you? What's that? What age are you? 21. 21. Okay. Right. And gave him the details of where he's to go, what time and all that. Are you, uh, are you in London? I'm in Glasgow, but I travel quite a lot. Right, okay. Well, would you be able to be here at this time and all the rest of it? Yes. So he went, uh, he, he, he said, oh, I don't, can I, can I sing to you just now? Oh no, you'll be, you'll be singing at the audition. No, I'll, I'll sing at the audition as well, but can I sing to you just now? And, uh, if you like, if you like, all right, and, and he sang and his voice it's like fucking singing was really, really good. It was like this. And it was silent. And the person was like that. <laughs> wow. Um, wow. Now, I'm not responsible for, you know, saying yay or nay but I will be keeping my eye on you I've got your name here Craig wow um, please tell me you can make this on Monday I'll be there on Monday I'll be there on Monday thanks Craig bye Craig thank you Craig that's it he thought I made an impression I bet he thought if they, were they joking because he's quite insecure really talented people are often insecure and that's what drives the talent a lot of the times the um you know for, for some of them the desire to overcome something uh, some sort of deficiency either in the confidence or what they perceive to be the lack of ability uh, elsewhere um she's like I wonder, I wonder if she's just laughing at me like, oh wow wow oh that's really good and Wait till you see this Craig one when he turns up, he's absolutely shite. Um, so he went down. And he went in, it's a big queue. And everybody's like, I'm talking about the Craig, this Craig. Who do you think Craig is? He's like, Craig? Is there another Craig here? And people, the queue! And these young men. All good looking by the way, all good looking and various forms of, you know, ones wearing a sort of suit, ones wearing like a fucking crop top sort of thing. All shapes and sizes, uh, different styles, different looks. All in black, this one, bit kind of neon, that kind of thing. Um, we're talking about this Craig. So it's like, this might be some, some hot shot. Well, I hope we get hope we get in before this. Craig turns up. Oh, I thought he's already no. He apparently, auditioned on the phone and all that. It's like they've just already given it. Uh, gave him it. Is that me they're talking about? And say, so he's, he's maybe for 
Scotland or Glasgow or I think it's like, that's fucking me. Me? Are they going to make an example? Is this, is this getting filmed for a tele programme? I didn't even know. Is this getting filmed for a tele programme? And they went like, oh, what's that? You what? Well, is this getting filmed for a tele programme? Film for well, a well, a TV show. Oh, I don't know. I think, I think so. Maybe he thought maybe I'm the one that's taking the piss at her. Anyway, eventually got to the front. He's like, "Am I fucking brilliant?" Um, the. So he got to the front, right? And he went like, oh, okay, what's your name? Because um, he got an email through, like, about a wee kind of, like, a cast, uh, no cast, audition number, you know, sort of code thing. Um, you know, in case there was, like, a, a mix-up, imagine there's something called John Smith, and there's another John Smith, and it's like, you know, it's all mixed up, it's got a, got a wee number and everything, like, addition number type of thing. Uh, that, and it said his number, and they went, what? Oh, Craig? Yeah, we've been expecting you. And then people are like, oh, Craig, what? Is that Craig? Is that Craig? What? No way. What? No way. And eventually went into the way, they got taken up, right? Right, just wait, waiting outside. And then it got brought in. Um, this is, this is Craig. Craig, Craig, and it was like, it was like a kind of Simon Cowell type and all that, but it was, you know, it, it was, it was, it was getting filmed, but then it looked like it was like, you know, big, you know, studio lights and all that, it looked like a kind of, this is a real deal, real band, nay, nay, some, some sort of fucking tele program, looks like it's a real, real deal thing. Um, and he went like that, uh, hi, and he went, are you Craig? The Craig? Um, well, I'm, I'm the Craig to me. I don't know. <laughs> and they went, oh, are you... This is your... The number here? The, 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 you're the Craig that, fought, that, that... That sang down the phone? Yeah. Right. Would you like to sing for us? We've already made a decision, by the way. Oh. He thought, was that me? No. No. I. We've already made a decision, but you can sing if you like. Um. Right. Anybody like that? Um, so we're going to sing for us today. I'm going to sing um, uh, You Raise Me Up by Wes. And I went, come on. We didn't, we didn't say Westlife, the Backstreet Boys, take that. All right, something made up beat. Yeah. Um, Uptown Girl. Okay, that's another Westlife cover, but um, that's more upbeat. Yeah, that'd be great. Do, 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 do. Ah, 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 ah. Uptown girl, a dude been living in the uptown world. Like a fucking brilliant voice, like that. And then he finished. Right? <laughs> really, really fucking good singer, really fucking good. And the tears, the tears. Listen a lot. And he did a dance and everything. Did a wee dance. Um, and had tears. What? Like Do you want me to sing anything else? No, no. As I said, we've made the we already made our decision. So Craig, it's going to be a no. And Craig was like, oh, "What?" He went, "It's going to be a no." 
uh, because uh, Craig Wisney, 21, he was 49, he turned 50 next month and he looked like this. The end. They had tears because they were so sad that they, they couldn't take them through. And it's such a shame. Time goes in just one direction. One direction? That's a true story. How do I know? Because that's how I feel. That's how. Corey, thanks for sub. Still a black and but the prompt said he joined a boy band. They said to him, epilogue. They said to him. But they, they gave him a letter through the post after it. And honestly, he had a rope round his neck. Rope round his neck, razor at his wrist, handful of pills at the edge of a cliff. Um, in a motor with exhaust pipe and the, the wind of the whole fucking the lot. He, he thought I don't, and also, uh, aye, the 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 works. And he got a letter. Guy ran up with a letter. Went like, don't do it. And the let opened the letter. And it said, we feel really bad about our decision that you never got to be in a boy band when you should have been. You are in the boy band. You have now joined the boy band. So, he put down the razor, took the rope, rope oh, got out of the motor, uh, chucked the pills away, got away from that, the edge of that cliff. Um, and then this other cunt came running up after it and went, here's a new letter. And the new letter went like that. You're out the boy band. Um, we obviously can't take you because you look old as fuck. Uh, and you walk old as well. You got a kind of old shuffle. Um, but hopefully you're happy that you were in a boy band. And it was enough to stop him topping himself. But he was in a severe fucking downer for three fucking years. You wouldn't think it to look at me. You know, you, you, you would say I'm out and about, you know, like uh, having a laugh. But inside, you know, it's just sacking and empty feeling. And only one thing snapped him out of it after three years. Eckies. Eldermore thinks of the sub. Uh, you didn't say the end. It's an epilogue. The end's already happened. 